If you are considering a move to Huntington, West Virginia, then you may be considering which neighborhood you should even move into. So in this video, I'll be going over every neighborhood in the city to help you determine which one is a right fit for you. I'll mention home prices, amenities, schools, and local businesses and events that may interest you. When choosing a new area to live in, it's important to envision your daily life and how you want to live. And also consider how long you'd be willing to live in that area. On average, people generally stay in a house for about 10, 12 years. So making the right decision now may eliminate some headache down the road. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Justin Dickey and I'm your go-to real estate agent here in Huntington, West Virginia. But more importantly, I'm a lifelong resident of this awesome city. If you're thinking about Huntington as your next home, I would love the opportunity to help you get here. In addition, if you have any other questions about Huntington or the surrounding areas, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I always leave my contact information in the description below. With that being said, let's hop on Google Maps and we'll do a little tour of the city. That way you can get a feel of where everything is and how it's connected. So first up, let's pull up a Google Map of Huntington. Here's the city center right here in the center of the screen. Imagine that. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see where our small city of less than 50,000 residents actually is. So as you can see, we sit here in this corner of the state along the Ohio River. We are right beside Ohio and Kentucky. You can get to the either state within like 10, 15 minutes. Some nearby cities that you might be interested in visiting or maybe you're traveling from would be Lexington. It's about two hours to our west. And then you can see Cincinnati and Columbus in Ohio to the north and northwest. They're roughly two, two and a half, maybe three hours, depending on how you drive. Up here to the northeast, you have Pittsburgh, and it might be roughly four hour drive. Uh, if you zoom in a little bit, you'll see that the state capital, Charleston, West Virginia, is about an hour to the east. So here's another map view, and this is how our local MLS divides the areas in which it serves. Uh, Huntington is still here, and then if you travel east, you'll see other towns and cities such as Barbersville, Ona, Melton, Hurricane, and across the river, our MLS also has this area over here in Kentucky, as well as these southern cities and counties in Ohio. And then it also encompasses Wayne County all the way down here. I won't be mentioning any of the Wayne County, Kentucky, Ohio, or these eastern cities in this video, since they're not Huntington. Uh, if you have any questions about those, uh, let me know either in the comments or get a hold of me, and I'll answer your questions. And then if you're interested in Ohio or Kentucky, we have other agents in our office that can help you with those. So in this video, I will be going over about 18 of these areas. I do include Northern Wayne County, as well as this Ohio River Road Lesage area, because Huntington addresses are partly within their boundaries. Real quick, I just wanted to show you the median home values for everything that is sold in our MLS this year. If you want to focus more on these numbers here, go ahead and pause the video because I won't be staying here long. I just want to mention that all the sold data is from our MLS from January 1st up until about mid-October. And this Ohio River Road Lesage area, it's only from a sample size of four sold properties. So that's something to consider. I might go over uh, Barbersville a little bit in this video because it's kind of like our sister or brother town. And as you can see, the Huntington Mall is even within Barbersville MX. So let's head back over to Google Maps and start at the city center. In our MLS, the central city is defined as around just past this bridge that takes you into Chesapeake, Ohio, and it goes about 8th Avenue and includes Marshall University, which is definitely the heart of our city. In the central city here, you will find a lot of condos or apartments down the main downtown area, and then traditional Huntington-style homes on these avenues such as 6th and 7th. 
Central City is where you're going to find a lot of the action that happens in our town. Let's start here at the Mountain Health Arena. This is our civic center for the city. They have concerts, conventions, all the big events are going to be here. Also in the Central City by the Ohio River is Harris Riverfront Park. This is a nice park if you want to go enjoy the river views, feed the ducks, and they just installed a new playground as well. There are several benches and bench swings for you just to enjoy the nature around you. Look at that view of the sunset. Right near Harris Riverfront Park is Pullman Square. This has our main movie theater as well as several places to eat and some shopping as well. Let's zoom in here. Several parking garages in this area if you need a place to park. The Inner Geek is a nice store if you want comic books or any collectible toys. Chico's is a women's clothing store. I'm not too familiar with it, to be honest. Quicksilver Arcade has a lot of pinball machines and classic uh, arcade games, as well as some rhythm games such as Pump It Up, uh, DDR, and I believe they even have a consoles such as Nintendo 64, or PlayStation, things like that. You have your ice cream and several places to eat and your little coffee spot of Starbucks. And this is the fountain in the center of Pullman Square. While downtown, we have some unique restaurants such as Backyard Pizza and Law Bar. And the same owner owns The Peddler, which is actually Huntington's only brewery. And they specialize in some delicious cheeseburgers. And they also have an arcade up top to get your retro gaming on. Right here, we have the Marshall Hall of Fame Cafe. And it is, of course, themed after our university, Marshall University. Let's travel a little bit further west, but still staying in the central city. Uh, over here, you have Heritage Station. That is actually where the Huntington Visitor Center is. So stop by here. You can learn about all the amenities and restaurants that Huntington has to offer. We also have a little coffee shop there. Nice place to stop, grab a coffee, an alpha four, an empanada, something to snack on. Um, in the area, I'll mention that Pullman Square has live music throughout the summer, as well as this 9th Street area is shut off for live music. And this is also where the Cowell County Courthouse is. And then if you're into performing arts or historical buildings, check out Keith Alby Performing Arts Center. Look how grand this thing looks. So while downtown, of course, you're going to have all kinds of things for eating, shopping, events. That is the main hub for that. Let's head a little bit west. This is the Marshall University campus as well as the football stadium right over here. Also in the Central City area, this is where a lot of the food festivals are going to take place. Probably right here in front of Pullman Square, such as Chili Fest just happened. The hot dog festival goes on there. And then here at the Riverfront Park, we'll have festivals such as Rib Fest, Huntington Rails and Hills, the Beer Festival. And we actually just had a Taco Fest, first annual. They did a pretty good job. Can't wait to see what they do next year. Gem Spaghetti over here by the Cabell County Public Library. Uh, it's a huge hit. The locals love it. I have yet to be there. Don't shame me on that. I'll have to check it out sometime. Also in the Central City area is the Greyhound bus station for your travel needs. While here, uh, there is a nice gym worth checking out. Ground Zero Fighting Systems. Uh, they teach Jiu-Jitsu. They might have some MMA or boxing as well. Uh, and last time I heard, they had a little bit of yoga for warm-ups. So if you're looking for physical fitness and some discipline in the martial arts, definitely go check them out. And then if you're looking for nightlife here in the Central City area, most of that's going to be down 4th Avenue. Uh, tons of bars, places where all the young whippersnappers go. And it's close enough to Marshall and a lot of the Marshall housing is in this area. So those living in this area that want to have a night out on the town, they can pretty much just walk home safely after consuming alcohol. So let's go into West Huntington. Over here, there is, in the west end of Huntington, there's plenty of living space and commercial buildings as well. Plenty of car dealerships. Tudor's Biscuit World is down here by the West Huntington Bridge. And if you aren't familiar with that, you're about to be. This is the spot to be for breakfast in West Virginia. 
As you can see right near it is something called the Wild Ramp. This is actually a local and fresh farmer's market uh, run by volunteers. So definitely check that out. And that's where you really get your freshest of food. Some things that may interest you are the United States Postal Service over here, the Goodwill Donation Center, and here is Grace Christian School. If you would like to get your kids enrolled there. In terms of grocery shopping over here, you have Aldi. However, I believe this one's shutting down and they are gonna move across the bridge into South Point, Ohio, which isn't too far away. So if you like Aldi, there'll be that one or there's one in Barbersville as well, right off of the interstate. Um, an additional choice for grocery shopping down here would be Kroger over here on 7th and then 1st Street. And then might be nice to mention Midway West Drive-In. This is a nice little hot dog stand. Grab you a bite to eat. Huntington loves their hot dogs. A little bit further into the West End, you'll see a Save-A-Lot. Do some grocery shopping there. All right, let's go just a little bit more West into West Moreland area. Once you're into the West Moreland area, you will find at the very end of it, here is Camden Park. And it's like one of the oldest amusement parks in the nation. But it's still running, so go have fun. As you can see here, here's an elementary school in Westmoreland, Family Dollar, and it looks like there's a child care center right here, if that interests you. It also looks like there's a child care center right here. I honestly don't know much about this area, so let's get out of there. Let's look here at the southwest area of Huntington. If you come up this street hill road, puts you at this intersection where you can hop on I-64 to go east or west. Here in the southwest, you have a gun range right here at the Bombshells Burgers and Barbecue. Here is Direct TV Customer Services. And up the hill from there is actually Mount West. That is a community and technical college. If you're seeking higher education, then that's a good option for you. And also up this hill is Woodlands Retirement Community. So it is reserved for those age 55 and up. And then one last thing I'd like to mention over here in the Southwest area, you can see it's a little more rural than the rest of it, but that's kind of a give me since we're moving away from this city center. This Heritage Farm Museum and Village. This is a cool little spot. Uh, they have a petting zoo. They teach about Appalachian history and they have a little adventure park you can do a four-story climbing course they have a zip line and even some downhill mountain biking if you get a chance i definitely recommend checking that out all right we'll go a little bit south here into northern wayne county this is a big area so of course it is more rural than the others and over here you will find the huntington tri-state airport this is the closest airport to us uh, roughly 20 minutes from the city center. I think they only have like two gates, so very small airport, but it gets you to where you need to go. Also out here in Northern Wayne County, the Spring Valley High School is right here. Also in Northern Wayne County here, just to the east of the high school, this is where the VA hospital is, right here on Honor Hill Road. Uh, closer to the Huntington side of Wayne County, up the 5th Street Hill. Again, there are a couple of nice golf courses such as Creekside and Sugarwood Golf Course. If you continue a little bit further, you can get to Beach Fork State Park. There's a nice lake there. You can swim, you can kayak, fish. Uh, they have some trail systems, so go check that out. Let's get back into the city. Let's get back further into the city towards the south side. And the south side of Huntington, you will find a lot of what we call south side brick homes. Uh, very square brick homes, two story, three bath, two bed kind of deal. A lot of people turn them into rentals. Uh, tons of shopping in this area, mostly residential along all these blocks, but you will find the YMCA right here, as well as Grindstone Coffee a little up the street. Huntington Middle School is over here in this area. On the west end of the south side area, there's a museum of radio and technology and a railroad museum a little above it. And then while we're here, Safety Town is a cool little spot where uh, young ones can go learn and how to drive. They have little cars on a little track. It's a lot of fun. 
you should go check it out. From Safety Town, along the Memorial Boulevard, this is a nice spot to ride your road bike. And there's a path that takes you all the way down to Ritter Park. So you can bring your gravel bike, mountain bike, or just run there. It's a nice spot to enjoy the outdoors, get some fresh air. And like I said, that will take you all the way here to Ritter Park which is what I would consider Huntington's main park. Uh, they have a loop around the park. It's almost almost a complete mile. Uh, there's several shelters, tennis courts, pickleball courts. A, they have a fenced-in dog park up here, an amphitheater where they'll play concerts or have some plays. And then over here on this side of the park, there's an award-winning rose garden. On the south side, on the south side, uh, you will find Huntington Museum of Art, and that is actually the largest art museum in the state of West Virginia. Uh, tons of exhibits, and they have some nature trails as well. In our MLS, the south side is defined as going up until this road, and that is 16th Street, also known as Hal Greer Boulevard. Alongside of Hal Greer Boulevard is where one of our main hospitals is, Cabell Huntington Hospital. They're a major employer in our city, so you may be working there. A little bit south of that is Meadows Elementary School. For now, I believe they're going to relocate that one a little bit more south. Brand new building. Uh, if you continue along Halger Boulevard here, you will come down, 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 down. And this is where Huntington High School is. Let's look at the Southeast Hills real quick. This is all residential pretty much. We'll see a church here and there. Uh, there's probably a Dollar General in here somewhere. Oh, here it is, right on the edge, going over into the Fairfield area. But yeah, Southeast Hills is pretty much all residential. Since we're over here, let's go ahead and talk about the Fairfield area. A uh, huge cemetery right here in the Fairfield area here, Spring Hill Elementary School. Uh, a lot of residential through here. As you'll see, there's a, some churches. A hardware store, family dollar, pretty much flatland here, and then all these curvy roads, you start getting into the hills. Uh, Rotary Park, nice park, tennis courts, I believe. They have a disc golf course, which you aren't going to find at any other Huntington Park. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, we hit the southeast hills, we hit the Fairfield area. Let's go a little bit north into Highlong. Here we have another of our famous local hot dog stands, Stewart's Original Hot Dogs, and along Fifth Avenue here. This is where you're going to find all of the fast food chains. And then it'll take you to another Kroger. And if you're not familiar with Kroger, that's pretty much equivalent to a food lion or a Publix. Here in the Highline area, there is a newly built elementary school, Highline Elementary, and you can get your doll and groomed nearby. Mostly all residential through here. Churches are scattered out through everywhere. And on this side, Marshall's going to build a new robotics and welding type center for education. Uh, there's a small park by the river. On the north side of High Lawn, uh, they have basketball courts, tennis courts, and a small playground. Also in the High Lawn area is where you're going to find Huntington's second hospital, that's St. Mary's Medical Center. And then also in the High Lawn area, you're going to find the Cabell County Board of Education. And then St. Mary's also does some teaching a little bit south of that. Let's head directly to the east and cross over the Guyandot River. And we are now in Guyandot. About that. Over here, I feel like there's a lot of historic houses. So if you're into that, this might be where you want to live. There's a veterans club over here. There's here is a library along Bridge Street. And then if you head if you head south along the Guyandot River, you will find Children's Place Early Learning. This is a daycare and some education up until kindergarten. And that's actually where I spent a lot of time in my youth. All right, let's travel out of Guyandot along the 3rd Avenue, Ohio River Road here. And that takes us into the, starts getting into the Sage area up here. Uh, the houses here may have a nice view of the Ohio River, which is a plus. And then if you continue, if you continue along Route 2, the Ohio River Road, you will reach a Riviera Country Club to get your golf game on. And if you go a little bit more north into Lesage, you will reach the world-famous Hillbilly Hot Dogs. 
the place is built and meant to look like a shack, really run down, uh, but you'll get some really exotic hot dogs there and plenty of Instagrammable photos. Let's go back south and we are going to go along the Big Ben Highway here and that brings us into Barbersville. And I'm only going to touch on maybe this part of Barbersville on this video, but you can get down here, you'll find Target, Marshalls, Home Depot. There's a huge shopping center in this area. Here's a gym, Orange Theory Fitness, where they'll coach you, get, keep you motivated, as well as a couple restaurants such as O'Charlie's and Longbourn Steakhouse over here. Uh, this is also where the other Aldi grocery store was, as well as another home improvement store, Menards. Take us a little bit further to the east, just so I can show that the Huntington Mall is over here. You know, typical mall stores that you're used to, Macy's, J.C. Penney, stuff like that, as well as a Walmart Super Center if you want to get your groceries there. Best Buy, Olive Garden, the Olive Garden, I should say, Books a Million. Here at the Huntington Mall, uh, in addition to stores and food, all that, this is where Planet Fitness is. I know Planet Fitness is big across the U.S., and if you have a membership, that's where you would want to travel to. Billy Bob's Wonderland is a fun place to go play games, earn tickets, get prizes. They have laser tag uh, and a mini golf course, so you might want to check that out. Let's head back to the west to kind of start to get out of the Barsville area. Uh, I'll just mention here that this is the main village area of Barbersville. Very tight. Uh, the post office library the middle school is right down here and if you go a little bit south this is barbersville park it's absolutely beautiful uh they have a huge lake with a walking trail around it tons of hiking trails for biking walking what have you they have fields for pretty much any sport i think soccer football baseball they have basketball courts tennis courts and pickleball courts and a lot of them were actually just redone this year. So go check out Barbersville. They even stocked the little lake down here with fish so you can go fishing. With that said, I'll just mention that there's one other golf course right down here, the Esquire. And then let's get out of Barbersville and talk about the Pea Ridges. So you have East Pea Ridge and you have West Pea Ridge and they run along uh, Route 60 here which if you're not on the interstate, Route 60 is your way of transportation. And then these areas, very residential. And along Route 60 is where you're going to find all your commercial opportunities for food. And if you're in the market for a new car, we need to fix your car, the banks, what have you. Uh, there's a pharmacy right over here in this area next to King Spirits and Big Lots. Let's mention the Guyane Golf and Country Club if you want to spend some time on the links. Looks like there's a daycare area over here in the East P Ridge area. And then over here in West P. In my experience, I find West P Ridge to be a little bit more rural. Here in the West P Ridge area is HIMG for medical needs. Uh, several fast food shops along Route 60 here. And Christopher Eats here is a nice place to eat if you want something local. A little bit different. On Sundays, I absolutely love to get their chicken and waffles with this bacon glaze on top of it. Ah, oh, so good. Since we're over here, we actually skipped over Altizer on our way. Uh, in Altizer, I remember going to Skateland here all the time as a kid, just rollerblading it up. They throw parties, uh, they turn off the lights, put on some cool dance music, uh, play a stop and go game for getting some candy. Lots of fun. As you can see, the Altizer Elementary School is over here. Here in Beverly Hills area, according to our MLS, you know, it has the good old Texas Roadhouse. In Beverly Hills, you have Explorer Academy uh, for education for your young ones. Also in Beverly Hills area, we have the good old Baltimore Super Center. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Uh, here's the Huntington East Middle School, which is next to Valley Health for your doctor's appointments and dentist appointments. And a little bit to the south, and a little bit to the south in the Beverly Hills area, we have the Cabell County Career Technical Center. You can learn things such as uh, Cisco networking, mechanics. I don't know if they have welding there. You can learn some trades there, which are highly needed these days. So these go learn. Career Center here is, they're actually expanding, and they're going to have a portion of the 
Huntington Mall, where they'll be doing education as well. I think the last one to talk about is this Norwood and Cedar Crest area. I think I already mentioned that the Huntington High School is over here on the west side, and that's where I actually graduated from. But this is another mostly rural area. Oh, maybe this wasn't the last one uh, because I didn't mention Height Saunders Elementary School out here in the suburban south. As you can already kind of guess from how large the area is and how far it is from the city center, this is mostly a country-like setting. Let's see here on the south side of it, there is a daycare facility which may come in handy. So there you have it. That's just like a quick and dirty tour of our Huntington area. So you can kind of get a better idea where everything is. It's important to know these kinds of things because in my opinion, I want to live somewhere where I don't have to drive forever to get to what I'm trying to access on the daily. I want to be right there. It's in my sphere and it's a part of my lifestyle. Now I know this video didn't cover everything as that would just take way too much time, but hopefully you have a better understanding of maybe where the schools are, the hospitals, and some nice places to eat, or even some outdoor areas in which you can play and get some fresh air. Again, if you have any specific questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can either leave a comment in the description below, or get a hold of me via phone, text, email, whatever. I can answer more questions about Huntington or even the surrounding areas in Barbersville, Melton, Hurricane, whatever. If you found this video to at least be even a tiny bit useful, or at least appreciate my efforts, go ahead and give me a like. And if you want to see more content about Huntington and what we have to offer, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'll be here again. So I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.